Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Pokemon Fire Red. We are on part 26 as of right now and I'm still in this bloody mansion place. But massive update guys, my, che my team has changed dramatically. Firstly, I've swapped out Gyarados for a Lapras because you guys suggested this. Uh, Gyarados was part flying so it took, I think it was 4 times damage against electric moves, and which isn't a good thing. And Lapras is part ice which is great against dragons. He also has a lot of HP and defense so Lapras is awesome finally got myself a Dragonair after being in the Safari Zone for about two years uh, got a Dratini grinded it up took a while but finally got myself a Dragonair he's pretty badass uh, I've changed my Alexa Buzz's name to Zappy I don't know why uh, I now have an Alakazam not a Kadabra he's finally evolved which is freaking awesome and that's about it so uh, basically this is going to be my ultimate team I think I think when I get to the to the elite four Mr. Beaks is going to be swapped for something else because he isn't really that great he's just good for flying everywhere anyway other good news is I know how to get out of this bloody place now it's fantastic uh, the reason we come in here in the first place is because the gym is locked on the right hand side and what I need to do is um all max repels what I need to do is basically get the uh, the key to the uh, front of the gym it opens the door and then that allows me to um, fight the gym leader so I think this statue may have to be turned off uh, I think that's what the tutorial said so let me turn the statue off and there we go up to up here um, now this is based on what I saw in the tutorial okay obviously I'm going the wrong direction I'm not too sure I think Yes, is there a statue of Piers? Nose. Okay. Oh, what? I found a Pokemon with Max Repel on? Yeah, I did watch a tutorial on how to get out of this place. I may be doing this all wrong. I hope not. Um, I can't escape. Seriously. Freaking Raticate, you piece of shit. I'm gonna have to kill you now. Uh, Raticate, use another quick attack. Oh, thanks, Raticate. I hate you. I hate you so much. I've, I've even caught this bloody thing. You know, it pissed me off so much, but I caught it anyway. Let's use Ice Beam, that'll kill it. That'll teach this rat a lesson. Oh, yes, nice stuff, Lapras. I'm proud of you. Okay, hopefully I don't encounter one of these again. God damn it. Like, I need a better version of Max Repel, like, total Repel. Just means you don't find anything. Okay, maybe... Oh, my God! Raticate! Why? What, one second, guys, I'm getting pissed off. Charizard, we're going to kill this thing now. I hate Raticate so much. Yeah, I'm just going to keep Charizard at the front because if I keep encountering Raticates, then I'm going to want to kill them in one shot or at least run away because um, Lapras is uh, level 36 and... or was it 35? 35 or 36. And this Raticate takes two shots, which waste a lot of my time because I do these Pokemon Let's Plays at like 4 o'clock in the morning, which is really late for me. And, um, yeah, I don't want to, um, you know, spend like 40, 30 minutes on a part. Uh, as you know, I wanted Charizard, didn't I? Don't worry, Dragonair and Lapras, I will grind you two up soon. Now, maybe... Oh, wait, I'm all lost again. So, wait, where am I? Oh, here it is. See, see, I, I got lucky and I found the uh, doorway up. So, I turn on this statue, then I go down here's, and I fell down these cracks before in the last part, I think, but I didn't fall down this big one. Now this big one leads me to a new area, yay! And there's a guy there, fantastic, let's fight him. Whoa, who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. It says, random creepy scientist guy. Uh, they all look the same, they all have the same chemicals, and they all have Pokeballs. Electrode, yes, he looks so healthy, I guess you could say. Somebody commented saying that if uh, Advocate was a Pokemon, he'd be an Electrode because he looks so snarky. They're right. I, I agree. It would it would be Landon. But yeah, that's a one shot right there. Easy stuffs. Ah, scientist is about to use Weezing. Alright, Alakazam, it's time to kick some butt. I changed his name to I Spoon You instead of I as a spoon because I thought that was a bit cooler. Come forth, Alakazam. And we are going to use Psychic. Oh, he's, I've also taught him Carmine, which uh, was pretty cool. It's better than Confusion say that much because kind of mind increases his special attack and special defense is that uh that tm that gym leader used against me and i was like wow that's awesome ouch okay oh i keep banging oh one sec guys sorry i almost dropped my uh, keyboard on the floor it's a bit annoying hellos yeah we found a car boss good news that's one of those uh things that increases your stats and stuff 
Now this is the basement level. Um, I know Repel's Effect wore off, let me just sort this out. I know in the basement there is some really rare items, like I think there's Blizzard and uh, Solar Beam and the key to uh, getting out of this place. So I think I'm supposed to turn this statue off maybe? Let me just press it. And yes, it opens this doorway here, and there's a Pokeball here. I found a full restore, very nice. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need a lot of those later on in the game when I fight the Elite Four because they're pretty tough. And uh, by turning that statue off, I've opened this area. Wow, you've got good eyesight despite wearing glasses. This place is ideal for a lab. Look at all this space. You'll need equipment too if it's a lab. So, um, scientist even. What's he gonna send out? Magnemite, eh? I think I've Charizard out, which is nice. Good news. We we'll use flamethrower. Now, uh, my Charizard is pretty beasty. The thing is with Charizard is he doesn't learn Fire Blast normally. Fire Blast is the strongest fire move, I think. Uh, I think he learns like Fire Spin as his ultimate attack, which isn't even that great. Um, so, um, I think the next gym leader gives me Fire Blast, I think. Like, I think he's a fire guy. He likes his fire Pokemans and um, he'll give me Fire Blast, I believe, and then I'll teach that to Charizard because I think it has like 120 base attack which is a lot of power behind one special attack. It's a shame though, I think it only has 5 PP, but when I move so powerful, of course it's gonna only have 5 PP. And it's like Hyper Beam, I have a freaking ton of Hyper Beams, and um... Ooh, hello there Pokeballs, yummy found Blizzard! Yeah, I bought myself like 3 or 4 Hyper Beams, because I know they're like really useful, uh, just to teach to everything, because <laughs> Hyper Beam is like like one of those really strong attacks, but I think you have to recharge afterwards. So what it's good for is if you want to basically one-shot a Pokemon, just crack out the Hyper Beam. Oh, I found the secret key, that'll get me into the gym now. Just crack out the Hyper Beam, and then um, you don't have to worry about reloading. Or oh, Solar Beam, yay! I love Solar Beam. I don't have any Grass Pokemon though, which is a shame. If I still had my Gloom, that would have been useful. But as I was saying, um, if you crack out the Hyper Beam, you want to one-shot the thing, so then you can swap to a different Pokemon afterwards. Oh, I have to turn the statue off up here. And, you know, I got lucky finding that staircase about five minutes ago towards the top, because honestly, I would have been really lost again, and then it would have been a bit of a fail, really. Um, I think I'm supposed to turn this statue back on, actually, or else it will block the exit on the upper floor, so let me turn this statue back on. Press it, yes, who wouldn't? Yes, who wouldn't press this statue? Oh, bollocks. Uh-oh, where am I now? I am lost, says the scientist. Well, as a burglar? God, they all look the same, don't they? You look like a scientist to me. Sends out Growlithe, level 34. Uh, maybe I'll, I think I might swap out Charizard for my Alakazam or something. Or, actually, no, why would I do that? I'll swap him out for, like, Mr. Beaks. Mr. Beaks. Why Mr. Beaks, you say? Because he's a bit of, sh bit of a piece of shit, really, but he's only level 37, and my Charizard's, like, almost level 50. I don't really need to keep grinding up my, uh, my Charizard and my Alakazam when they're so high. Because it's just too easy then, really. What's coming out now? Uh, Ponyta. Okay. If you're sending out a Ponyta, I will send out Lapras. Yeah, screw you, Mr. Beaks. Don't like you anymore. Lapras, yes. Hello, Lapras. You're a bit cooler than Gyarados, supposedly. And I do agree. Um, not being part flying really helps, because if anybody has an electric attack, it's not going to be as bad. If I had a Gyarados, he would have got, like, destroyed like four times damage or something ridiculous because I think it's double damage against uh, just the water and then if they're part flying it'll do quadruple and uh, Gyarados would just in insta die, he'd be like Bleh. Do you like my sound effects? Okay, let's get out of this place anyway, I've wasted too much time in here so the exit is just down here now um, I think there was like a really cool item up there and when I say really cool, probably something, something like a H, I think it was a HP up or something, which isn't really that useful. Uh, so we're going to use the secret key to go in the gym in a second. And I think we'll do the gym in this episode too, actually. I'm feeling really generous right now, and I might make this quite a long episode for you guys. Um, I do realise I upload these Pokemon episodes really late at night. Um, so I assume most of you watch these in uh, the next day, the following day, in the afternoon or the morning or something. But yeah, I'll make this one quite a long one. Uh, if you're watching this at like 4 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> it's going to be really pushing it. Okay, is Yo Champ in the making? Their hot-headed Blaine is a fire. Yes, I was right. 
Douse his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals too, says the guy. So Charizard will be swapping you out for Lapras. I'm sure Lapras will do a swell job. So my Lapras, uh, Electabuzz, and my Pidgeot, and my Dragonair are all in their mid-30s. And then Alakazam and Charizard are basically, you know, 10 levels higher. I've grinded them way too much. But yes, we're in this gym now. I was a thief, but I went straight as a trainer. It's one of these burglars again, fantastic. Let's see, I've probably got some Growlithes or some Ponytaz, you know, that's all That's all they have. Yeah, I thought so. Like, they all have Growlithes for some reason. I think it's because if you think of robbers, you think of having like guard dogs or something, I don't know. And that's why and Growlithe looks a bit like a dog. That's my logic. My pretty bad logic, really. This should be a one-shot. Good news. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, when I beat this gym, there's only one more gym to go, which is actually in, um, I think it's in Viridian City or something, um, and that's the last, I think the last gym leader is Giovanni, the rocket guy, and he's all powerful and stuff, and, uh, so I beat this fire gym, I beat the next gym in Viridian City with Giovanni and stuff, and then it's off to the Elite Four I go, the, the big four, the biggest, powerful, most powerful trainers in Pokemon history. And then when I beat those and I beat the, the current champion, then I've completed the game. And the thing is, I can't... Uh, basically, when I complete the game, I won't be able to get Mewtwo or do anything afterwards. It hurt itself and it's confusion. God damn you, Lapras. I won't be able to do anything afterwards because it just... Um, unlike... Because the thing is, this isn't on the Game Boy. I, I have the Game Boy game for Red. Uh, like, I bought it. And this is actually a computer version, like simulated version. I play it on my PC. And when you complete it, um, it's it's gonna just three times in a row. I swear I've just hurt myself three times in a row. That's bullshit. Um, if you complete this, you basically it doesn't let you do anything afterwards. The elite fool! Oh, what the fuck, Lapras? You piece of fucking bullshit! Oh, sorry, I was getting a bit pissed off. Lapras hurt himself, I think, four times in a row, which is a new world record in my opinion. I've never had that before. I'm actually sh I'm actually in shock right now. I might just use a body slam, that'll do the trick. So yeah, but this let's play is going to end after after I defeat the Elite Four and then and the champion. Who they those are the five hardest trainers in the game. They're really tough. And it's it's a it's a it's a mental challenge really. Rain dance, not bad. Let's we'll see if I can take anything off of that. Uh, we'll get rid of confused ray because a rain dance plus a surf equals lots of damage. And lots of damage makes me a happy yummy. To be honest though, confused ray is a good attack. I'm not gonna lie, um, it's nice. I surrender. Just give me what's in the bag, and then I'll let you. F I'll let you go free. Oh, the door just insta opens. That's good news. Uh, I think I have a super potion. I'm gonna need to heal up my um, my lap my Lapras. Couldn't think of a cool name for Lapras, unfortunately, because I wanted to kind of nickname most of my Pokemon, but I'm not really good with names. Uh, we'll fight this. Oh, okay. you don't want to fight me? Hello. Oh, oh, that was a fail. I. He didn't even want to fight me, and then I spoke to him. He's like, okay, we'll fight now. Super nerd. Oh, dearie me. Looks like me five years ago. Okay, let's just ignore that. We'll use Surf again. Yeah, Lapras is a pretty much a badass, really. Does a ton of damage, has a high special attack, and on top of that, on top of all that, it's got a lot of HP and, a, you know, a good defense as well, so it really does help. I don't want to waste Surf's on Vulpix's, though, because Vulpix isn't really that good. So, I will send out my Electabuzz, you know, he needs a good little grind. I finally managed to get Thunderbolt, which took a long time in the coin place, or the arcade. So I got myself a Thunderbolt, which actually has more power than a Thunder Punch. It's like, Thunderbolt is stronger than Thunder Punch, I didn't really know that until recently. Oh, almost. But it failed, I don't even know what Imprison does. Uh, does? <laughs> does, does. Oh, uh, well, we'll kill it anyway. Uh, what's he going to send on next? Nine Tails, very nice. Come forth, Lapras, we need you again. And we meet again, Nine Tails. Don't you dare confuse Ray me this time, or I won't be happy. I like how my Lapras is a female. Makes a change, really, because like the majority of my Pokemon are male. Really? Lapras got burns? You're a water Pokemon. You could like put yourself out, just squirt out some water out your mouth with like, a water gun or something. Oh, wait, he doesn't even. Well, she doesn't even know water guns, so that wouldn't work. But if you, know, if you get burned, just go in the ocean and have a little swim. Hot, hot, hot! Okay, I'm sure I've got some burn heals. If not, I must have some, um, like, fall heals or something. Oh, there's a burn heal. I only got one, unfortunately. 
but it'll do the job. Should have stocked up really before I went in this gym. Okay, I'm gonna have to battle this guy to open the doorway, obviously. I've studied Pokemon thoroughly, you can't win. I think it's another snoot super nerd, actually. Hence why, um, I think super nerds are like super duper socially awkward, so they won't walk up to you and challenge you, you have to challenge them, and they'll be like, I'll battle you, Ponyta. Oh, maybe a body, or oh, surf. I was thinking of using body slam, but screw it. Fire spin? Oh dear, I think that's like, yeah, like I said, I think Charizard and Fire Spin are like really high level, but Fire Spin isn't even that great. Actually, it's pretty shit. I, I wouldn't use Fire Spin. Never really liked it. It's, it's kind of like Bind in a way. There's like consistent damage here and there, but it doesn't have a very high attack, so I really don't see the point in the move, really. Okay, Dragonair, we'll send you out now. I haven't used you yet. Um, I think I taught Dragonair Hyper Beam. And, oh yeah, Hyper Beam and Ice Beam actually managed to get an Ice Beam too, which took ages. Um, well, Ice isn't very good against Fire. Slam has quite a high damage, it might one-shot it, but Dragon Rage has 100% accuracy. We'll use Slam though. Let's see how much it does. Oh, Slam did the trick. Guess it's because it was a critical hit, and that'll, that'll explain it. But yeah, Dragonair is a very hard Pokemon to grind up. Like, seriously, it takes ages. Mr. Beaks will use you now. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a Dragonite by the end of this. Uh, I, I I don't I don't know. I could, before I fight the Elite Four, go on a huge grinding mission. Like seriously, just go crazy, and maybe just try and get a Dragonite. But I think it evolves to like level 50 odd, like 50 something or some ridiculous level, and um, that's gonna take a long time. But I do want all my Pokemon to be around level 50 by the Elite Four. So I guess I guess I can go out of my way. And, um, you know, grind up my, my Dragonair a bit. Oh dear, we use Wing Attack. Maybe that'll do the trick. Actually, that's definitely not going to kill it, but whatever. Ah, damn it. The thing I don't like about Fly is it takes a while. You know, it's like two moves in a way. You go in the air, you wait, and then you then you hit them. Wing Attack's just a Kadoosh. It hits. Just not as powerful. I think I should um, teach an Aerial Ace over Wing Attack. Um, I think after I do this part, I'll check to see the power of Aerial Ace. Actually, I'll, I'll know anyway, won't I? Oh, whatever. Doorway opened, and uh, I have to fight this guy too. Hello, Super Nerd. I like using Fire-type Pokemon, I just do. That last three words wasn't necessary. Oh, it's a Burglar! I thought it was a Super Nerd. This was a fail. And it's got like a level 41 Ponytail. That's really weird. Like a 41 Ponytail? You, you could have a Rapidash. Seriously, you could have a Rapidash right now. And Rapidash is a lot stronger than Ponytail, I'll tell you that. Let's see if this does the trick. Good news. I think my Lapras will be level 38 now, which is quite nice to know. Ah, two more experience, and that would have been elite. Okay, good news. Um, too hot to handle, says the burglar. They always look so happy. They're like, ah, oh, I've stolen so much stuff. This is a great day. Great day in the life of the burglar. Now, where's my super potions again? We'll have to heal up my, my Lapras again. There you go. You know, Lapras looks happy too for some reason. I don't know why all like the Pokemon and, and the the uh, what they what they call trainers. They always look happy. I know why Blaine became a trainer. Really? Well, I don't really really care to be honest. Why he became a trainer? Hey, at least you've got a Rapid Dash level 41. That's much better than that last guy. Ponyta. We use Surf. I do think my Lapras will beat this thing because of the type advantage. But I gotta say, Rapid Dash does look pretty epic. It's like some fire horse, and he's all like, I am tough, and I am dead, <laughs> says the Rapidash. Lots of experience. This is great news. Ouch! Okay, next doorway open. This is quite an easy gym, really. It's not much of a puzzle or anything. You just defeat the trainers, and the doorway's open. I'm sure Blaine is in the next room. I've been to many gyms, but this one best suits my style. Okay. This gym's pretty shit, honestly. It needs lava and stuff. You know, like lava pits and bridges and like maybe like, you know, there's boulders in that ice cave. Maybe you, you could have, you have to build yourself like a bridge out of boulders over the lava or something. I think, I think in the future games, this was like some challenge in a gym or something similar. I think it was like a dragon gym. I think it was like the eighth gym leader in um, one of the newer Pokemon games. And you had to uh, build a bridge out of boulders or something over the lava. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't want to waste Surf, honestly, but I'm going to use it anyway. 
I'll have five serfs, it should be enough for the gym leader, saying that. Um, I do have, like, all my other Pokemon, which are decent levels, so I, I don't think I'll have too much of a problem, really. Yowza, too hot. Here's a fuckload of money. I'm loving it. Okay, Blaine is probably in the next room. I'm all confused. Fire is weak against H2O. Oh, thank you for that. I guess you're right there. Oh, well, it, oh, that's true. You're a nerd because you know what H2O is. Wow. Okay, we'll, we'll use Body Slam, despite my attack being decreased. I don't want to waste the Surf on this pathetic Growlithe. It's a shame, really, because Ice Beam isn't very good against Fire Pokemon. Flame Wheel? I don't even know what that does. Okay, it's just a semi-decent Fire Attack, really. Oh, that's good news. I thought it was going to have really low red health, actually. And I've just realised, but I've been doing this part for about 20 minutes. I'm a nice guy. Vulpix. Okay, Body Slam will maybe do about half its health or so. Oh, I did three quarters and I paralyzed it. Body Slam, I love you. I wish Snorlax paralyzed more often with his Body Slam. Thing is, though, he's so fat, he probably just kills them on the spot. If I got Body Slam by a Snorlax, I'd be dead. Snuffed out. 888. Nice. Okay, this better be the gym leader. Good, good, good news. He's bold and he has a really cool moustache. Okay, I will super potion my Lapras and we'll battle him. Let's get this out of the way. Super potion goes. Ding, ding. Okay, I'm quite confident, really. I, oh, I won't use another one. I'm not even going to bother saving it because I don't think I'll have too much of a problem. So let's do this, guys. Ha, I am Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. You better have Burn Heal. Oh, that's a shame, I don't. I kind of used the last one on the first guy. Oh, dear me. Yeah, he's all old and stuff. Leader Blaine would like to battle. He sent out Growlithe. Level 42, it's quite high level. It's definitely higher level than my Lapras, but Surf should do the trick. Surf has, I think, like 95 or 100 damage, and that doubles against fire, so it's freaking amazingly strong. Yes, I thought so. I don't know if this is gonna one shot like Arcanine or Rapidash. I think I think I did I did one shot a 41 Rapidash like five minutes ago with Surf. So, well, we'll, we'll see, won't we? Fire Blast. <laughs> it missed. I think Fire Blast has like 75 accuracy or something, so it misses like one in four times. So I did get a little lucky there, really. But I'm still going to um, teach it to Charizard if he gives me it. 39. Ra Lapras, you fiend. I love you. Uh, Rapidash, here we go. Level 42, I'm guessing. Haha. <laughs> See, I, I can get my guesses down. Oh, this Fire Blast here, not good. Wow, it did a decent chunk. Okay, let's see how much this does. Oh, wow. Wow, Surf does one shot a Rapid Dash level 42. It's crazy. Alright, and his final Pokemon is Arcanine. I gotta say, Arcanine is freaking cool. Seriously, freaking amazing. Look at him, he's beast. And he's level 47. Holy shit. That's really high level. Alright, Surf. Um, oh, God. Another Fire Blast. Gotta say, Arcanine is pretty awesome, I like him. Ah, uh, no, Lapras, no, please don't die on me already. I'm guessing this is about three quarters of his health. Yep, a bit more than that, but my Lapras is now dead. Goodbye, Lapras, I will miss you. Okay, so, um, I do want my Dragonair to um, get a lot of experience, so I'll send him out. So hopefully he won't die instantly. Come on, Dragonair, let's do this. We'll use Dragon Rage, does 40 damage, supposedly. Uh-ohs, this isn't good. Ah, not effective. Dragonair, you're awesome. You really are awesome. Okay, Dragon Rage, let's see if that pretty much does the trick, I think. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I should have expected a Hyper Potion. Damn you, Blaine. I should have expected this. Okay, uh, I don't think my Dragonair is going to be able to defeat this thing. I'll try a Hyper Beam, actually. Um, I really doubt this is going to kill it, but may as well try, I guess. Hyper Beam, go. Missed! Really? 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 This is annoying. Will you slam then? Take down? Oh, God. My Dragonair is on 2 HP. God damn it. 
slammed a decent amount. Oh no, I don't want to use another slam. Nah, Dragonair's dead. Well, there's no harm in trying, I guess. Um, Electabuzz? Thunderbolt should should be alright, we'll use that. Go Thunderbolt. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid using Charizard and Alakazam, because they're really high level, so I'm going to use my lower leveled ones. How can I use Fire Blast? Actually, it would surprise me if this thing lives. Nope, Electabuzz is dead. Do you know what this means? This means Mr. Beaks, my good friends. You can actually finally grow a level or something. God, you know. Pff, no, my look, Quick Attack will end up missing. I'll get one shot by a Fire Blast, but that's that's not going to happen. No way, Leader Blaine. How many Hyper Potions do you have, you motherfucker? God damn it, Mr. Beaks is going to die now. Seriously, he can't win a battle against an Arcanine. He loses to freaking Rattatas and Coughings, for God's sake. Okay, well, at least Fly will do semi decent damage against this. Oh, God. Take down? Oh, Mr. Beaks won't die from this, will he? No, oh, thank God. I kind of was almost bullshitting myself. We'll use a Wing Attack. Um, ooh, okay. Okay, bite. Let's hope he doesn't flinch me. Okay, I think Fly would be the intelligent choice. Not too sure if this will beat it. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We shall see. Nah, it didn't. Didn't really think so. Oh, I was going to use Quick Attack then, but obviously he's dead now. Damn it, Mr. Beaks! Oh, if, if it hurts off a recall enough, you could have actually had a draw. Alright, Alakazam, we'll use you. Half my team's dead. Alrighty, I spoon you. We'll just, we'll just finish it strong with a Psychic. GG, no re. Arcanine is pretty epic though. Gotta say, I, I kind of want an Arcanine now, but I have a Charizard. Play a defeated leader, Blaine. I have burnt down to nothing, not even ashes remain. You have earned the Volcano Badge and 4,700 Pokebooks. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special stats of your Pokemon. You can have this too, this better be Fire Blast. Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water, Pokemon. Well, that would be really dumb, wouldn't it? I'm going to slowly waltz out of this place because it won't let me run for some reason. So I have to slowly walk out of this gym. <sighs> All proud and I'm just epic right now. Now, I was looking at my keyboard and that's why I was walking into walls. So I was look just checking to see if I was pressing the right button because it kind of freaks me out that I couldn't run. Oh, no. Her, hey, if it isn't Yami, look, it's me, Bill. Oh, I thought it was Gary. I was gonna, I was gonna be pretty pissed off because I probably would have lost then. Long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending time with me? There's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Should I go? I oh, guess. Let's do that. Let's go to One Island. I, I do. I really do want to heal up my Pokemon, like really badly. But we'll go to this One Island. I, I can't even remember this actually. To be honest, I don't think I've ever been here before. This is actually a bit strange for me. Here we are, this is one island. There are several islands around here, and this is one of them. My friend Cecilio sent the boat to fetch me here. He's in charge of this thing. Let's see Cecilio. Okay, this place is weird. What? What is this place? Okay. Okay, Bill. Hey there, Cecilio. Hello, I'm Cecilio. Bill, I can't believe you came out here. Well, absolutely. How's the research? Uh, Yami, this is my buddy Cecilio. Yeah, I know. Uh, Rising Contender. That's really impressive, I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for paddling. Glad to meet you. Can we just... Can I just know what this is all about, please? You know, I've got a Pokemon Let's Play going here, and I don't want to waste too much more time. Um, the PC's on the island. Okay. Let me make it work. Let me help you. Okay. Can I get you to wait for me just a bit? Actually, can I get you to do me a favour? The island next to this one is called Two Island. There's a guy there that runs a game corner uh, for rare rocks and gems. Can I get you to deliver this meteorite to him? Oh my god. Meteorite. Yami, if you're going to Two Island, please take this. Oh my god. Tripass? What's a tripass? Uh, it's a pass for the ferry service serving the local islands. It'll let you travel between 1, 2, and 3. Also, you should have a town map. I didn't have one of these already. Well, that's crazy. Okay, you know what? Fuck you all. Oh, what? oh wait, one sec, there's a poker center here. Oh, nice. I was about to just ditch them and go back to the the island or Celadon, whatever it's called. 
it's not called Cinnabar Island, that's it. And I just continue with my Pokemon journey. But obviously now I've took a little detour and I'm at this random two island, one island place. And I'm all confuzzled. Alright guys, I'll leave this one here. This was a very long part for you all. So I hope you enjoyed it. I, um, well, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.